Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do one of my favorite videos ever on YouTube because I needed to do something. So I'm gonna do a what's in my bag video with my new Longchamp bag and I'm gonna clean it out because I need to clean out my bag and organize it. So that's also um, an incentive for doing this video. So this is my new Longchamp La Pliage. I usually just keep it kind of zipped open and this kind of like hanging on the inside. Um, this is in the new color turquoise. So as far as I know, this is new um, and exclusive. So I guess limited availability or whatnot. I thought this looked very much like a Tiffany blue, especially if you've, you're looking at a Tiffany box, a Tiffany blue box in the evening or under candlelight. It definitely has more of that turquoise, um, green aqua kind of vibe to, you know, at times. So there are different shades and lightings for Tiffany blue and all of that. but. I love Tiffany and I love this color. I thought it was so unique and um, I just had to have it. So, and oh, by the way, this is a size medium. This is how I usually carry it, by the way. Like I usually have it on my shoulder going this way on my arm and I don't ever zip it or anything like that. So this is for all intents and purposes. I never really see it dressed up like that, but it's so nice either way. Um, but this is the size medium. I find that the medium for me is really all I need now that I'm like not in school anymore. And I do take a book bag to work. So for my laptop and my large Erin Condren planner and things like that. So I don't find that I need a large La Pliage because more things are moving around you know i'm not really using it for work stuff i'm using it really just for my personal items that i like to carry with me to from work or i'll take some things out if i go shopping on the weekend to make it lighter you know things that i don't need every day but yeah i find that the medium is sometimes you almost think this is the large so because it just expands so nicely what i love about the mediums too is that they have the white interiors and i like the white interiors because i like that contrast so you see it's all white except for this large pocket. I love the newer models because they have that large deep pocket. They have two pockets versus the small traditional one like this. And then you have this smaller one. So I love that. I was bummed that online these days that you, unless you choose the personalized option, it marks it up exponentially. You used to be able to get your initials hot stamped for free either online or in the stores. I don't have a store near me, so I might look at a leather shop to do that because I do like my things to be personalized, especially my bags and wallets and little accessories. I just, there's something special about that and I don't typically sell my things. I pretty much collect and, and keep my things nice. So in any case, um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but all right. So I'm gonna go through this baby and all right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the pockets. I'm going to go through this big one right here first. And normally I would have my cell phone, but it's charging. So I normally have like my main cell phone. This is my work cell phone that I'm recording with. So I have this. This is a Swarovski crystal pen. This is the one from, I'm trying to get it to the star. This is the one that came out for 2023. So it's got like the pink and white crystals and then that little star and then the rest is silver. I really wanted this to write in blue, but it writes in black. You can buy the blue, you know, and then change the vial, but I was just like, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I just bought this for myself at the beginning of the year. I'd gotten a raise and I was like, you know, treat yourself <laughs> and it'll feel good in your new planner, like writing with this pretty sparkly pen. So, um, and Swarovski pens are such a great gift. If you run out of ideas for somebody and there's a, a girly girl in your life or just someone who's like got a classic vibe like that in a way, Swarovski pens are such a great gift, like for teachers. I've given one to one of my lawyers uh, for their birthday. So anyways, all right, so the first thing I see on top here, let's see, are my sunnies. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out before they get squished because they're normally not in here, but I was out earlier. These are my big, like what I like to consider my Olsen twin sunnies. These are from Christian Dior. Um, I got these on sale from Rue La La one year 
and I love them because they have the green, like an olive army green interior contrasted with the black and it's kind of like an unexpected thing. Everyone always compliments these sunglasses. They're just very Olsen like bitch but she's nice vibes <laughs> and I love them. Rue La La is a great place to find sunglasses discounted designer sunglasses so they're authentic and these are the inside out Christian Dior sunnies. They had these in a I think it was, um, they were either white with pink interior or they were like black with like a pink and white interior. Maybe that's what it was versus the green. And I really wanted those. They didn't have them, but over time I've really grown to love the olive ones because I do have green eyes and it's, it just kind of like all pairs nicely. All right. I have a $50 Visa gift card because Wednesday this past week was Administrative Professionals Day and I am the office manager of a law firm and paralegal slash legal admin there. So I manage the office and other LAAs, which are legal administrative assistants. And um, yeah, it was nice to be recognized. Our firm is so good to us. We get gifts every year and then we get to decide what we want to do as like an activity together. So we went and we got Manny's and Petty's. This is like what I like to call Disney princess manicure where it like looks like nothing, but it's like pink shimmery, like what a Disney princess would be. So we got Manny's, Petty's, my toes match, but they have a French, I did a French tip design. And, um, and then we went to a really nice dinner. We had lunch earlier that day. We had like a treat celebration with our attorneys before we left to get our nails done. And it's, it was really nice. We, we really do get honored. And then we got a gift of like a personalized gift, a grilling kit set in this, you know, really nice case and personalized to us and a reusable firm bag for like grocery shopping and stuff. It's really nice. And, um, yeah, we just always get recognized and it's, I just love, love my job. All right. So then I'm going to go to this Side note, this little pocket, and in here I have this Orbit gum. I love how this opens. It's just so fifth element to me. <laughs> and yeah. And then I have this long shop, your bag is new tag they give you. And that's all I have in this little pocket here. Then I have this cute little coin purse that matches my big bag, which I think is just the cutest. Is that not so cute? And in here, I just keep my AirPods. Just somewhere to tuck them away that keeps them safe. I had this annoying Mickey Mouse uh, AirPod holder on them and it gets all weird in there. And this sometimes I find will open without permission. It's a cute case though. My dad bought it for me in Disney World a couple years ago. Um, but I just, I don't really have a use for this other than, you know, cause I don't need coins or anything. And, you know, I don't just want to put lip balms in there because I've got other things. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could do that. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. I'm trying kind of going back and forth on like what I should do with this little guy, but I wanted the accessories that match on the inside. So I just went ahead and grabbed it while it was there because I also got, this little guy, which I really do love, and there's so many uses for this, um, and it was just such a great color, like I said. So this matches the big bag and the little mini coin purse. How cute is this little family? <laughs> Get my thumbnail. Mm, my hair's in that thing. But anyway, so yeah, I just love this because you can use this as like a clutch going out Throw like a small card holder in here with your credit cards or your debit card, your phone, uh, your keys. This is just such a great little item. While it's in my bag though, as like a catch all, I'm using it for like my makeup and lip balm and perfume. So I have a Coco Mademoiselle sample. I love this perfume. I recently smelled this after all this time. And I want to get like at least a purse size bottle or a big one or like a combo because I loved it so much. And I, I was expecting it to smell very old lady still, but it smelled so good. And then I have a Fenty Beauty. I think this is the Gloss Bomb in Fussy number 02. 
here's the fancy love this color it's such a good like dark milky baby pink with like gold and silver sparkles it's just really beautiful and i like glosses that die down so they're not like super shiny like porn star shiny they like kind of matte down and just give you that color and sparkle sheen that just looks super healthy and like pouty and that's exactly what that formula is it's super glossy at first and you give it a couple of minutes and then it settles in a beautiful way and it's not super sticky so this also has its own hey you got a new bag card and in here, I love that it's also the white interior. I love that everything matches. Chef's kiss. Um, I have my favorite lip liner, which is MAC Whirl. I think we all, all of us gals and guys know about Whirl. So yeah, this is, I have a hard time finding lip liners, especially natural ones for like natural looks or nude looks for me. I have a hard time finding a good lip liner that doesn't look completely awful on me. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like everything makes me feel ugly. And this, for some reason, I was just like, oh my God, I don't hate it. And it's very close to my natural lip color, but an ever so a right amount of darker that just gives it that outline, but doesn't make me look too like New Jersey gin. <laughs> lip liner era so if you know what i mean you know if you know you know i have a mini sample clarins uh moisturizer i got this at ulta and yeah i really like this just to throw in my bag it was the perfect size because if you're at your office or wherever out and about and you just have these dry patches and your skin's getting all weird and flaky or dry for whatever reason it's nice to have this just to put some moisture on and immediately take care of the problem because I hate feeling miserable out and about. You know, I mean, I hate feeling miserable in general. <laughs> I know everyone does, but still. I have a Kiehl's Lip Balm in Cranberry. And I really like Kiehl's. I'm a huge Kiehl's fan. I have a NARS uh, Liquid Lip, and it's the Air Matte Lip Color. And it's in Dolce Vita. So this is a great whippy, airy feeling liquid lip. And this is a really beautiful, very, very natural, just gives your look an even appearance for me and my skin tone and my lip color naturally. But I love this. Kiko Beauty kept raving about this in like her beauty routine. And Kiko is so beautiful. And on her skin tone, this looked just like a beautiful palish pink, but like the perfect nude for her. And um, this just gives me, it, it's beautiful, but it gives me more of a natural, I've just eaten, I'm healthy, glowed, fresh kind of look for me. It's not like a pouty baby pink. So I, I wanted it to look more like it did on Kiko, but duh, we're different skin colors. And yeah, but I still love, I still love it. It's just, yeah, I got this to sort of get me that Kiko look. And this is Laura Mercier's, um, what are these called? High Vibe Lip Color. Oh my God, I'm so glad I could read that. 120 Joy. And I was watching Lisa Lisa. I think there's some numbers behind her name on YouTube. And she really loved and recommended this. This is like a metallic beigey baby pink that set out in the sun kind of nude I don't know that I completely love this yet I'm like still kind of like feeling out how I feel about it this is one of those lipsticks that you have to have moisturized lips for sure before you put this on because it'll show all the flakes and lines and things but this combo together with the whirl lip liner and then the Laura Mercier joy lip liner in Whirl, and then the Gloss Bomb from Fenty in Fussy. They all look just really, really good together on me. So yeah, it kind of gave me that Kiko look, but with different products. So that's the inside of that, and that's empty, and that's what I keep in there, back here. Then I have this sparkly kind of makeup bag catch-all in my bag and this is from the company skinny dip 
I think you, they had these at Nordstrom a few years ago. I actually bought mine secondhand on Poshmark. So yeah, this is skinny dip there and on the little pole. And it's really beat up and stuff when, you know, when I got it, but I knew it was going to kind of be like that. So um, I just like all the sequins and I just thought it would be fun. So in here I have some tampons. These are my favorite tampons. These are the Tampax Radiant. So good if you have to have a tampon. Um, I have my Gucci glasses case thing for my eyeglasses, which are not in my bag because I was wearing them over the weekend, so it won't be in this video. I have a Drunk Elephant Wonder Wild Miracle Butter Rescue Remedy Marula Butter <laughs> Meadow Foam Oil. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So this is sort of like that pawpaw ointment that Australians talk about on here, or so we've heard, I've heard, and you can kind of use it anywhere. You can use it on your lips, and you can use it on your elbows, anywhere on your body, your heels, and I don't know, it was like 30 something dollars for this tiny tube, but you really don't need a lot. Um, I don't know that I would repurchase, but I'm glad that I bought it, if that makes sense. So maybe I will repurchase once it's out and like miss it, but we'll see. And then I have the Giorgio Armani Aqua perfume, and this just smells so fresh, like sexy beach night kind of scent. I love the jade kind of crystal top or whatnot. Another tampon, a claw clip. I have a mini, very limited to 90s me kind of girl little clip. If I want to like just tuck my hair while I'm working or something. And then I have my favorite lip balm, which is the Lip Smackers, these little teddy bear guys. This is in the grate. I love these. You just twist, turn the heart lock. It's purple. Looks like a ring pop. And it has a little bit of color, but it's not like your lips are purple. But I love these so much. I love them. I have a strawberry one too. And then I think that's it. That's all that's in here. So like I said, it's kind of beat up, but it's just so cute. And you know, it's not meant to like not be beat up because it's sequins. So, all right. And then I know we're 17 minutes, but I wanted to do some reviews, I guess. So in here, I also have this printout. My leg's going to sleep here. So I printed this off the internet and some of you might laugh, it's this. And this says, the 12 ways of a godly wife. And then it just has like 12, I guess, recommendations on being a good wife, like what that entails. And then like the Bible verses that to look up that evoke that message. So like the first one is to love him and it says Titus 2, 4. Um, so I don't know, I just, I'm trying to be connect with my spirituality on a new level in my mid thirties and figure out what I believe, what my relationship to God is with him and, you know, where I fall in my belief system and getting caught up in those things and really wanting to find true love and a husband that provides and in all the ways a husband is meant to provide. And then I want to also fulfill the needs of the husband and all the ways the wife is supposed to fulfill his needs. So I just wanted to check this out and it's just more like research. So yeah. Then I have this big Louis Vuitton inspired cosmetic case. It's, I love it because it's like a eclipse kind of shape, you know, and the zipper is great guys. I got this from Etsy. If you're interested, I'll give you the link. But um, I have it fat full, but it's just so nice. And it is like, again, inspired. So I like that it has this kind of stuff and it has a pocket here. So this is just like my main catch-all. I feel like with long shops, especially, you definitely need something like this. Um, so in this little pocket on this side right here, I have this, which I also got from Etsy. I'm a big Etsy shopper. I have this sparkly pill case and yeah, this is super cute. Kind of moves your, unless your pills are packed tight and you have quite a bit, they kind of like switch sides on you. But yeah, if you must know, I have some Xanax and 
some Pepto-Bismol. I am prescribed. Don't worry. Um, okay, so there's that. I have a receipt in here, which is probably something that I need to um, expense for my credit card report for the office. Then I have my wallet, and I love my wallet. This is a Brahmin, I think it's the Adele wallet. It's, you know, their um, pink feline print, which is so great. I have the matching bag to this in the, is it the Carolina satchel? I can't remember the name, or Caroline maybe. And then it has this orange kind of ombre effect. I love this. Um, I love this wallet because it's just so easy. It's just like, it flaps open. It's, no, it's not fussy at all, and, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a great wallet. And then I have my babies right there. I don't know if you can see if I can. My Zebby, my mini Dotson, and Bella. They they both passed within months of each other um, last year, so that was hard. It was really hard. My baby was 14. I think Bella, the chocolate lab, was 12 or 13. Bella lived a really good life. Um, so yeah, so this is my wallet and sometimes I'm like, this is too much on me, but it's so fun and like 2006 kind of strip club esque <laughs> chic business woman chic. Um, I have my checkbook, which has my Chevron initial little cover on it. I've had that for years. And then I have a somewhat recent purchase. This is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette from the Louis Vuitton and Yayoi Kasama collab that is out now. And this is the mini pochette with the monogram background and the hand-drawn polka dots over it. And if I have this in any of my Louis, I always have this clipped to a D-ring. This is really something I take to the bathroom because I use this for tampons. Um, that's why the other tampons belong in here. And I love that they have a little pumpkin here and just like the inner like material, it's really nice. Um, I have a Bath and Body Works antibacterial and mango cove. And then I have my little Hello Kitty mirror. I've had this for a really, really long time. I'll tell you on here what year it was. This is 2008. I don't know that it's been since 2008. No, yeah, I guess it would have. 2008 sounds about right. Um, but it's so cute and I've kind of broken it in over the years. So it's got a double mirror. One is a zoom in one on the top and one is like a regular. So this was a Sephora exclusive and look at it, it's so cute. I love that it had the Eiffel Tower because I've always been infatuated with Paris and I really wanna go one day. So. That's all that's in my little pochette. I'm gonna put these back in there specifically. Yeah. So we'll zip her up so she gets safely over here. And so that's all that is in this big pouch thing. And this was about 50 bucks from Etsy. They also have the white Damier Azure this matches perfectly with my Louis Vuitton Speedy and the Damier Abine, this chocolate bar kind of print. So I love this because I'm not spending thousands of dollars, but I'm getting the look. It's not pretending to be Louis. It doesn't have any of the Louis Vuitton stamping, um, but it is inspired by the checkered design. And we could get into it, girl, but like, let's not come for me or Etsy because um, you know, Vans has always owned the checkered pattern. You know, that's an inspiration from Louis. Um, you know, we could just, we could go on and on. So, yeah. So, I love this. And back to my bag. There's still a few more things. I have a grocery list in here. So, if you're curious what my notes look like. And I have a, what is this? Um, an Erin Condren notebook. It is embossed with my initials. It's like a sparkly pinstripe book that has a bookmarker in it and it's just lined like this. And I'm just using this as like a wish list, a write down of like sort of maybe what I've eaten for the day, any thoughts that I'm having as of lately or um, 
what I want shopping wise or goals or things like that or like tracking my weight. So I have a couple of these. She has a sale towards the end of every year. So look out for that. And I bought it with a sale and this was like $4 or maybe three something. And it's usually like 15. So, and then I lastly have this card that my boyfriend got me. And he recently had, we stayed together. He came to my house this weekend or last weekend, sorry. And um, I also went to the Little Wayne concert last weekend. I have to do a haul of what I got there from the merch. But yeah, and then he just said, thank you for letting me stay with you this weekend. I had a great time and I thank you for taking such good care of me, TD. And um, yeah, super cute. So I was gonna hang it in my office and you know, just, it's like a little bouquet pretty and it has like little sparkles he always gets me the cutest cards he knows I'm a big card person so I love that and look it's all these colors all right so the bag is now super light it's super heavy when you fill it because it's almost like it's nothing and it's taking the weight of all of your things obviously um but some structured bags, when it's full, feel lighter than when this is full for some reason. Maybe it's the, the way the straps are, but yeah. So guys, I really love this color. It really does look like a Tiffany blue, even though people are saying it's too green. Eh, sometimes Tiffany is a little green too, more than you realize. So yeah, I love this. I love the gold hardware. Um, I was wearing my Speedy lately, but then I, it's just, I don't know, like I just, thought of long shop and then I saw a little like what's in my bag video like scroll by on YouTube and I was just like man I really miss my favorite long shop that I had in college it was this red medium bag and I can't find it I guess it got lost somewhere on one of my moves or I'm convinced maybe my sister stole it even though she says she didn't but anyways um I just love the easy breeziness of it it's just so lightweight so easy easy to clean easy to take care of and um, I love that it's a color, like a unique color. Normally I'm a beige kind of girl, but I'm really glad that I got this because I do think it looks really good with my skin tone. And like I said, it reminds me of Tiffany Blue. So yeah, this is it. Empty guys, very malleable. And inside it is all white besides the pockets. I love that because I find that it's just easier that stark contrast with your things to find things. Um, so yeah, highly recommend this bag and this particular size, the medium, because I just think the medium really encompasses the best of both worlds. I was watching Bravo's Girlfriend's Guide to Paris last end of last year. When did that come on? Like the fall, if any of you guys watched it. And one of my favorite persons on that show, Aja, was always carrying a long shop. And she took a blue colored bag similar to this to Victoria's fashion show event. So she was dressed very ball gown and brought this as her bag. And it looked so chic, guys. Like it actually looked really good. It like, you would expect an evening bag, but homegirl was like, no, I trekked across town. Like I need my bag. And it was just like this size, the medium. And it was just so cute. She had like a, I don't know if it was a black ball gown or um, it might have been a darker blue or something, but it just looked so good. It might have even been a white dress. I think it was white. I think it was an all white party for the guests. So I think it was a white dress with this and it just looked so beautiful. I just love this color. It's so, 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 so good. Um, so yeah, so that's what's in my bag. I am feeling better mentally. I want to start talking more about depression and healing and me being on Wellbutrin and occasionally I'll, I'm prescribed Xanax for like deep anxiety. And if I do take a Xanax, it's a half of a pill. I'm on like the lowest dose and um, you know, or if I had a horrible, horrible day and I just can't sleep, I might take a whole one before bed or something and knock me out. But I, don't like talking about it, but I do at the same time because I don't want to promote something like that um, because it's highly addictive. But I have always been fortunate to not struggle with addiction when it comes to drugs. I struggle with it with shopping and eating or eating certain foods, but not when it comes to drugs. Drugs actually really scare me and they always have. I took D.A.R.E. class very seriously. 
my boyfriend is an addict um, in recovery. He's been recover in recovery for over 20 years. He hasn't slipped in 20 years. Um, but it's it's every day is, you know, that's why he has to call himself. He likes to call himself an addict in recovery. And I guess that's a wide belief system. I don't want to speak for everybody. But as I've learned to communicate with him and be a good space for him, um, you know, I'm, I'm careful about my use even of, of Xanax around him per se, um, you know, and being respectful of that. But I do have really severe anxiety and sometimes I just need half of a pill to just get me back to like a normal nervous level. We're not even talking like cures nervousness. It's just like a, a baseline of what most people would probably feel versus someone traumatized like me. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I got on that spiel because who cares, but, um, I want to make more videos is my point of mental health and talking openly about using Xanax and using Wellbutrin for helping manage my depression and get to a much better, more stable and happy place. So anyways, that's why I got on that spiel. Yeah. All right. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching and wishing you guys a great weekend or whatever it is where you are, a great <laughs> life. All right, bye.